We held an auction on Whatnot a few days ago, and it was insane. We planned for something pretty big, but what happened was far above any of our expectations. And I'm gonna talk about kind of how some of those things happened, some of the insane things that did happen, the pivots that we made during the show. But also, we have $50,000 worth of stuff to ship, and we're just gonna dive in and bring you guys with us. And thanks to XYAB, the sponsor of this channel. They're a business-to-business -business video game accessory supplier. We love them and use them frequently in our business. And if you're selling video games, you can use our link in the description for $50 off your first order of 100 bucks or more. I wanna talk a little bit about the show itself. So it was a Friday night. We actually started at 3 Eastern. We were planning on going till 10 Eastern, but things were going crazy. So we extended it by two hours, went till midnight. We gave away this PS5. Um, we weren't planning on giving this away, but we added this to the giveaways and the celebrations. Pokemon Center exclusive box to the giveaways, just as an extra appreciation. We gave away a sealed Switch game and then everything else on the top shelf. We gave all this away, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Diamond, you know, Bird King Pokeball, all sorts of really cool stuff. Thousands of dollars in giveaways after it was all said and done. You know, that's always been part of our genuine appreciation to the buyers. Um, and the people that are in the shows, but also it's a strategy to attract as many people as we can to these shows because when we have this many games, cards, collectibles, promo items over here, everything Goodness. like this to sell, we need to make sure we're getting the numbers, we're getting the people that are interested in this stuff. It's just absolutely crazy what happened because, you know, I needed some money to spend at a future game convention. And I wanted to get about like $20,000, which is a really big number to spend, but I, I wanna be able to spend quite a lot there. So that was the goal. We put a little bit of effort into marketing and stuff, but not anything too crazy uh, for our standards. And we ended up doing quite a bit more uh, than that. I think more than double the original goal. That's insane. <laughs> which is still mind blowing to me right now. So I'm gonna point out a couple of the craziest sales and crazy things that happened later in the video, but right now we gotta get to shipping it. So, Matt just left, but um, Alpal, are you over there? I am. So, Alpal is pulling eBay orders right now because we still you know, have eBay orders from the weekend, which we did close to $5,000 in sales on eBay. Yeah. For like 27 items. Yep. So almost a $200 average sales price, which is fantastic. <laughs> We love seeing that. That's kind of what our eBay has changed to is really high average sales price stuff. Matt is going to be shipping the highest dollar orders. Sky Guy, you can maybe just ship those like the low dollar ones, like the five dollar mounts. Yeah. Ten dollar packs. That mm -hmm. was another thing. You can get we, those real we, quick. We love bringing like really good deals on stuff like this. You know, ten bucks for these packs. They go for like twelve, so we give a couple dollars off. These promo cards. We sold two of them over the weekend <laughs> on eBay for forty five dollars. Free shipping. We were selling them on whatnot on Friday for thirty. And we're telling people to buy them because yeah, we were like, guys, like this is a really good deal if you're into this at all. Um, and then like this, we probably sold another thirty or forty of these. We sold like a hundred of them at our at our last show. They're blockbuster uh, promo Mewtwo cards. We sell them for eight bucks. They go for like fifteen, twelve to fifteen on eBay plus shipping. A lot of that stuff, people just buy those or buy a couple of those things. So Sky is gonna work on those. I'm gonna work on the value boxes because they were backed by popular demand and they sold, was it like 40 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it was a nine hour show and all 60 of them went in 40 minutes. And you know, we got a couple extra bonuses that we're gonna randomly draw um, and throw those in three of the boxes, I think. Yes. So we gotta make sure we do that. But I'm gonna do those, you do those. Elbow's got eBay and Matt, I just was telling the camera that you have the high dollar orders. And the ones that have any special requests or yeah, address changes. Yeah, I already some of those. Yeah, so he checked the messages. We always do that after a big show. There's always a couple little requests. We'll show you some shipping tips maybe for uh, whatnot and the way we do, we do some of our things. And to explain a little bit how whatnot works, we don't get the money until we, we ship it, which makes sense, right? But to get the money for the game convention, we absolutely need to get it shipped because that is like this coming weekend. So we got to make it happen. It is so many orders, 700 items. So. Oh, no. And really, we'd like to get it all shipped in like two business days. Maybe three at the most. Gotta go fast. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get to work. So right now, Matt is packing up one of the giveaway winners uh, packages. We like to pack up the giveaway winners first. That way, we don't forget their giveaways is uh, to to include. But Alpal has all of the eBay stuff. Yeah, a lot of good stuff sold over the weekend. Like she said, like a two hundred dollar average sales price. Whoa! 
Final Fantasy sold? Yeah. Um, nice. Street to Rage 3. Probably one of the best items of the day. This sold to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It actually um, sold to Jesus? It's a guy named Jesus, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, some big ones where, yeah, we're two great at games. I think we took an offer for seven fifty on that, and this sold for full price at 500 Nice. I believe. And these guys. Yeah, it's funny. We were selling these on one now for 30 bucks a piece. And then this one sold on eBay for sixty. <laughs> yeah, so, and we're telling people shows, we're like, hey, yeah. these these go for sixty. Yeah. On eBay. And then probably the coolest item of the day. Oh <gasps> no way! One of these bad boys. So I can't it's remember sold. which one this is, but we do have one other listed. It's a much more rare version. This one was like for nine fifty. And what is it? It's a Super NT Mini. A, it's the transparent version. Okay. So it's like a very rare version. Yeah, and it's made by Analog. They make the uh, the new like Game Boy uh, color. Yeah, pocket I didn't even know thing. about them until we got these from Dwight. Yeah, it's yeah. a great company. So how much in total sales was that? You said about five thousand. Like, it's like four thousand. Okay. Four thousand wow. for twenty six items, I think. All right, Chase. We're one hour in. Do you have a guess at how much we've shipped out? <sighs> no, but I. Uh, this is what I've done. All of these. Yeah. Wow. 15, 20, 25, 28 value boxes. So I feel like the number I have on the screen is not correct because it said $2,000. Does that sound right? I mean, that's like a little over $1,000 worth of these, right? Yeah, that would... Hmm. 50 bucks each? I don't know, but an hour in. I, I was expecting that number to be higher, but Matt's yeah. been having computer issues, so the high-end stuff hasn't been going out I'm on this one, It's a $2,000 order. It's a $2,000 order. Okay. What are some of the notable? Oh yeah, Let's all of this is notable. Goodness. <laughs> so one of the cool the things we sold stations. was yeah the DS download stations. We included a little slip to say like what is on each cartridge. These were at stores and had like playable games or video only things for multiple games. We sold a complete set of those. Yeah, so that was really cool. All nineteen of them. And plus we gave away the two more. We did give away two. Um, Star Fox Assault sold sealed. I think they got a fantastic deal on this if I remember right because this is so yes, minty. Yeah. Fight Night Round 2, same thing, great deal. Thunder Force 5, we probably got. We got I think we got 400. We got 400. So we've kind of made a deal on that. It's a 9.4A plus sealed. Oh my goodness. This one we got, got to be around 500, which is crazy. Virtual Boy, Royal Land sealed. Worms Armageddon, the box only. We ended up pulling this from eBay and selling it for in the, between four and $500. Got a little bit of a gash here. That's about what it's worth. Good deal for everybody. Star Soldier, very uncommon box and manual. Rough shape, I think we got in the 250 I, range. Yeah, I think that one was a deal. It was a good deal. It was it was good for us, good for them. And it looks like they bought four of the totem standees, so that's it's, cool. It's uh, three. Three, okay, three. Who was this? I don't have his name in the picture. Okay, unknown. But shout out to you. Thank you for the order. <laughs> It was Game Fix. Thank you, Game Fix, for all of these insane orders. It is a couple hours later. Alex, you just finished all of the eBay stuff? No, I just finished my Caribou coffee. Oh, in an eBay mug. Yes, I did. Okay. So four thousand dollars. Sweet. Out the door. Out of out of fifty thousand to go. <laughs> so hot. Did you drink some? <laughs> I was going to. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> and then Matt. Uh, it never touched my lips. That's all right. And then Matt, what have you been working on? I've shipped out three thousand dollars worth of whatnot stuff. Okay, and I've done two orders. Oh. You got that well, thing nice. right behind you. That's yep. another grand. That's another grand. Yeah. Right so this there. is what is this? That's the Halo Xbox. The Halo Xbox, which came from Minty Dwight. Minty Dwight. The mintiest you've ever seen. Yes. And then Chase actually has all those boxes. Yeah, those are all have labeled. Which is insane. Yeah. So 50 bucks a piece on, I don't know how many boxes those are, but... 62. 62. Yep. Yep. So we're, we're slowly getting there, but I think we definitely need to focus on more expensive things so we can recoup some money kind of quick. So maybe I'll shift over from doing little $5 and $10 packages to helping you with more expensive stuff. That would yeah, make sense. I gotta ship out the Legos. Okay, yeah, I'll do no I'll do high end stuff. Right. Is there anything high end I can ship out? That Xbox. Anything else after that? That Game Boy. Anything over a the Game Boy? Anything Game Boy. Over... What about Ooh. what about this five grand right here? Oh my goodness! Anything Jack okay. Bros. And oh oh yeah, uh, Jack Bros. Anything yeah, the... over a thousand dollars you ought to ship, boy. <laughs> so Skyler, what what it... would you have told me? What would I what would you have said to me if I said during our big auction one person? Is gonna buy both of these. I would have called you stupid. Yeah, 
I would have agreed with you. I, like, oh, there was yeah, just no the shot that anybody wants Jack Bros because it's so expensive. By the way, he also bought both of these. Yeah, so we did have a viewer that came in. He put his money where his mouth is. He said, I want Jack Bros. We gave him a big, big deal. This is the, to our knowledge, this is the only graded copy in existence. Now, it is complete, but <laughs> we happen to have a loose... In, or loose copy with a manual both in great condition. and he just kept saying do i and everybody in the chat was do like it, do, do it, it. <laughs> yeah it was... so we did it and that's that's awesome i mean he gets an absolutely incredible collection piece and then another absolutely incredible collection piece <laughs> yeah the manuals this. this was this was an awesome sale yeah really this cool. thing so we recently really bought a, a mini collection and we've had one of these and that's beautiful it's brand new by the way that's that's sealed. And then this was a crazy one, where me and what was it? Me and you were running games, or it was me and Matt were running games. Yeah. And we weren't even paying attention to the comments, and all of a sudden, dude was like, "I bought Metal Gear," and we're like, "Wait, what? You bought Metal Gear?" Like we didn't even see it in the things <laughs> or we, whatever. We decided to put this one up. We weren't yeah. sure about it, but it sold for fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Which, which is a, this is nine point eight B plus. All That's the great insane. games we sold and whatnot were great deals. Yeah, there were a lot that we probably lost money on after grading. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Hey, Chase. Yes. As much as I love seeing the back of your head, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Pretty good. We have shipped a lot of stuff. Yes. I don't know how many orders exactly, but I've done 50. Yes. Uh, one thing with, with shipping on whatnot lately, if you, if you haven't noticed uh, your interest in selling on whatnot, it's a lot of USPS shipping. Flat rate boxes, um, so we do a lot of that. Large flat rates, medium flat rates, small. The envelopes. How many? Look at that one. What's in there? Twenty-two hundred dollars. Okay. Twenty-two hundred dollar order. There we go. There we go. I've been doing like all the tiny ones, eight to twenty dollar orders. Mm -hmm. so. Mostly, I've made the company more money than Chase today. Well, 100%. Yes, you have in the three boxes you've done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Um, but let's check the total. Yes. So between eBay and whatnot shipping so far, we have about $15,400 in after fees, dollars for the business. So that's good. Makes that's the progress. We also had a business meeting and kind of projected some things for, for the future because we have a lot going on. So that was part of it. But it's not every day you have the whole team shipping, including Brother Dave. Yeah. Uh, we still have another solid hour, I think. We'll stay a little bit longer, too, to get stuff yeah, done. Finish strong. Okay, so this is one of the things that we gave away, but the buyer who won this purchased one thing. Can you guess what it is? Go ahead, take a guess in the comments. What did he buy to win this? Have your answer. If you guessed one single blue NES case, then you are correct. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great investment. <laughs> That's a buyer <laughs> yeah. It is now 5.06 and everybody is gone except for Matt. And we have shipped out $20,000 of stuff on whatnot. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Um, we have all these boxes. We have that stuff over there that's kind of unrelated. We have a bunch more that we're currently working on. But it's 24000 out of our 50000 in sales over the weekend, Wait, which is... You... That's like... Oh, is that? Oh, those are the big ones. I thought that was Amazon. That's like a majority. <laughs> oh, those are the big packages. We need to ship those out. Um, and then all of this is just kind of pending right now. Mm -hmm. But we've shipped out about 40% of everything that needs to be shipped. So 50% value-wise, 40% item-wise. I think we can get it done tomorrow. If it's all hands on deck and we don't take any breaks, I mean, we can go to the bathroom and stuff and maybe have lunch. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Welcome to day two. It's up. Yeah. We haven't used this door in a while. No, we're gonna get all these packages out and there's Oof. more than just this oh, too, so. I'm very sorry. Don't bump into me ever oh. again. <laughs> Scheduled pickups have been a game changer for us on these big whatnots. We're, we're good friends with my post office lady and uh, try to take care of her. We're, we're gonna load up the golf cart and bring out probably at least two loads. So we got a lot to, to send off. Um, I talked with her, they got somebody coming this afternoon and we're just going to try to fill their truck with the bigger stuff because she can't can't lift as much. Even though we'll load it for her, we're still going to try to keep all the small stuff for the second trip later in the day. So, How often can you schedule pickups? 
every day, once a day. It's free. If you have a regular uh, residential address, that they, that works for them. So I don't think like apartments and stuff work, but okay. um, yeah, you have to check the USPS site for that. I can't remember exactly how it works. Works here, so I love it. Now this is pottery. Okay. Looks like we both just printed labels. Alpha and I just printed labels and that puts our total dollar amount of item shipped at like 29,000. Mm -hmm. Which is totally crazy because our goal is 20,000. We're not even there. We have a, a number of packages that are have up charges um, that we're gonna have to pay. We like, you get five allowances per week. This is what not. Um, but we like to have our you know highest five adjustments be covered by, by whatnot, and then the rest of them uh, we'll cover at the end. So with those factored in, some high dollar orders, it's like 33,000 in shipped orders. We only have 60 left. We filled up a truck earlier today, post office truck, and still had a number of packages that he couldn't take. And then our other post office lady is coming later today. So we're gonna get most of it shipped out, and this is the second business day. So almost everything will be in that window. We've got about an hour, hour and a half left today. We might get it all done, which was kind of our goal but I'm really not sure if we're gonna fully finish. Uh, we'll see. So a couple things that I learned on Whatnot and Whatnot is becoming a big part of our business model. There's a lot of things that, that we've learned and that we're doing well, but there's also some things that we have a lot of work to improve. Uh, one thing that worked great was these prize packs. We sold over a hundred of each one. We had like close to 300 of each one available. So those are great. Those are probably gonna sell out in the next show. Love that. These minifigures, we probably sold 15 or 20 when we have like 100 available or 80-ish available. We might keep those prices the same, we might reduce the price a little bit, but really like these blaster boxes, I need these to sell, so I think we're gonna reduce price on those. One thing that I'll say is great that Whatnot brings is the fact that if you run a show, you know, you might sell 700 orders, but that's gonna be to like 200 buyers, 200, 250. So the average buyer purchases like three things and then we have a lot of people that purchase 10 or more so it makes sense to sell things like this for eight bucks it's a good deal they go for more like 10 to 12 on ebay i'm not exactly sure but for us we don't really want to list stuff like that on ebay we can list it very quickly in quantity on whatnot and then they're going to get combined shipping they probably bought more items than just that like these plastic cases we had a bunch that were branded um like this and I think we sold out individually for like seven bucks. So stuff like that's fantastic. All these dust covers, normally we wouldn't know what to do with them. We had tons of them from the Game Barn buyout. I think we darn near sold out of all of those, giving the buyers a good deal, but also for us, it's very nice to be able to clear space and get rid of stuff like that. So just strategically, the whatnot business model is unique for us. It might be something for you to consider depending on the type of business you're going for. It's fast moving. It's fast nickel, maybe nickel and a half on a good day versus slow dime, uh, and we like that. So I think it's gonna give us more buying power, more ability to clear things out faster, which we definitely need. We always have more inventory than we can manage, at least historically, but I would really like to get it to the point where I can just focus on buying more and then constantly clearing through it. And whatnot, whatnot might help us to get there, or eBay Live or whatever platform we're selling on with this model. Stay tuned, we might be selling on eBay Live very soon. Um, so yeah, that's just random thoughts on, on whatnot. Maybe you can gain some insight from that. So David is packing up the very last item, which is the PS5 giveaway. This is the only item I've packed up. Yeah, he's doing great though. <laughs> So the morning of the third day, we got everything done. From whatnot, we netted about thirty-nine thousand five hundred, and then eBay six to seven thousand net for all the sales, including today, which was about fifteen hundred in sales. So it's fantastic. Now I will say, like two full days of shipping plus a few more hours on a third day is a lot to factor into your time. You know, what's your time worth? All these things. It's worth it certainly for us with a big show because there's so much in sales. Um, also, there was you know six thousand dollars, five to six thousand dollars straight off the top in fees. All these things that people don't think about, plus cost of goods, 
plus cost of like marketing, and, and, you know, and our show and everything else. So all these have to be factored in. It's gonna take the top line down quite a bit to get to that net profit. Taxes paid at 25% on that net profit, take it down further. Factor in all of this, but even still, it's fantastic numbers for us. We're very happy with it. Now I'm immediately shifting mindset to preparing for the December 1st show because we wanna do twice as much as what we just did, plus a little bit more. So I'm preparing card lots, things that can be purchased immediately, tons of bite nows. We need hundreds, if not thousands, and hopefully they're quantity listings so it doesn't clog up the bite now too much. Um, but you guys gotta come to that December 1st show. We'll put the link down below to get $15 credit to bookmark that show on whatnot. And maybe some stuff will be available now. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to get some bite nows in there and stuff available, giveaways posted, all that kind of stuff. So December 1st from noon to midnight Eastern, a 12 hour show with so many insane giveaways and so many insane items going up for auction. You gotta be there, bookmark that, and we'll see you guys on the next crew video.